Congress is voting on Thursday to pass a bill that would just censor the entire internet. The Kids Online Safety Act, or COSA, allows the government to sue any website that shows any controversial content to minors. Right for misuse, websites will have to censor all their content to everyone. That's the first I've heard of that, but this would be very far from the first time they've tried it, and they always play that angle of it's protecting kids, which is why we must censor every website ever. So that way no one has freedom to post anything and they can control the flow of all information under it. What is it? COSA? Wow, there's like no articles about it. Is it... Is it not as serious as you're making it out to be? Oh no, here. The Electronic Frontier Foundation is talking about it. Congress has resurrected the Kids Online Safety Act, a bill that would increase surveillance and restrict access to information in the name of protecting children online. COSA was introduced in 2022, but failed to gain traction. It will put the tools of censorship in the hands of the state attorney general and would greatly endanger the rights and safety of young people online. Is it just young people online or is it the entire online space? Imagine it'd be everything, right? It will affect adults too. will likely face hurdles accessing legal content online as a result of the bill. The bill holds platforms liable if their designs and services do not prevent and mitigate a list of so societal ills. Anxiety, depression, eating disorders, substance use disorders, physical violence, online bullying, harassment, sexual exploitation, abuse, suicide behaviors. Additionally, platforms will be responsible for patterns of use that indicate and encourage addiction-like behaviors. Deciding what designs or services lead to these problems would primarily be left up to the Federal Trade Commission and 50 individual state attorney generals to decide. Ultimately, this puts platforms that serve young people in an impossible situation. Without clear guidance regarding what sort of designs or content might lead to these harms, they would likely censor any discussions that can make them liable. To be clear, though, the bill's language is about designs and services. The designs of a platform are not causing eating disorders. As a result, COSA would make platforms liable for the content they show minors full stop. It would be based on vague requirements that any attorney general could more or less make up. Which has always been the core problem. You, you, you have no way of preventing a child from accessing any content on the internet. Thus, everything will have minors watching it or accessing the platform. There's a Tier 1 Yoda, Tier 1 Quinn, and the Prime Brian, and the Risa Miraculous, Seized, Sweat, Soggy, You, and Sports, and Dreamer. Yeah, this is why parents need to monitor their kids' internet use. No, this is just the government, once again, trying to uh, take away some freedoms here. It's all about surveillance, and this is a very easy thing to capitalize off the fear of. It, this is something I just mentioned. Twitter, for example. So many kids are on Twitter. Porn is readily available on Twitter on the surface level without any kind of, like, gate to prevent kids from accessing it, this and that. So people, the government plays into that, like, they're... Under no circumstances should anything be allowed to slip through the cracks that minors might, uh, m excuse me, X, yeah, whatever. Under no circumstances should any of this be accessible to minors. Thus, we are cracking down on every platform ever that ha allows people to upload what they want because they might upload something that a kid could see and it's not good for them, such as, like, addictive content like they mention up here. But it's really just about surveillance. That's what it's always been about. It's not like they actually care. It's it's all just about surveillance. They tried it with COPPA. They tried it with... Um, what was the one right after that? There was COPPA. Was it POPA? Might have been POPA. I can't remember. But this is like the fifth or sixth time in the last couple of years. Things are said Geo and Waffles. SOPA. That's what it was. SOPA. And it, oh, it was two different ones. SOPA and PIPA, right? The other one was PIPA. Uh, no. No, no, no. <laughs> that, oh, yeah, wait, wait, yeah, it was. SOPA and PIPA. Yeah. 
they, they do this all the time. I don't know if this one's in a more dangerous position where it might actually pass or not, though. No way it passes. Hopefully not. Uh, I said this a few years ago, and I'll say it again. I think it literally is just a matter of time before one of these slips through the cracks. It, they're not idiots. They know that the internet has a very short attention span, and it's only getting shorter thanks to things like TikTok and shit rotting the minds and poisoning the attention span of humans. So you can only stay outraged about something for so long before you stop caring. So they keep shoving these bills through the pipeline, hoping that maybe it's about time fatigue set in and people aren't going to care. And it looks like they're right, because this is the only article I've seen on it. And it's from the EFF, which uh, the whole purpose of this org is for things like this. But I haven't seen anyone talk about this. I didn't hear about it until one guy in chat brought it up. It doesn't help that mainstream media doesn't cover it much. Yeah, because these kind of things don't get clicks. They won't cover things like this. People just roll their eyes and just say, again, it's not going to pass. Why should I care? And then it'll pass and they'll be like, how did this happen? Why? Wh what? What went wrong? I'll look more into this because this literally just seems like the exact same shit from the past of SOPA and all that. Just... Dangerous government surveillance taking away more freedoms. Is the prime Keegan happy in the resub Arku beef in tier one Joseph? Couldn't you just get a VPN? What? No, th this would be a platform thing. I, this is the first I'm reading about it, so I could be wrong, but if it's anything like the other ones, holding the platform liable, which it does say it will do, means that the platform itself is going to have to change its rules. For example, Twitter, oh my god, the platform formerly known as Twitter, I'm never calling it X, actually fuck that, I'm just never calling it X, that's way too shameful to even say out loud. Twitter, for example, would have to change everything to not allow you to upload like your own content, it'd have to be vetted, because they could be held liable if you upload something that showcases uh, online bullying or violence or substance abuse or anything like that. It'd be too risky, so they'd probably have to crack down on that and you wouldn't be able to upload what you want, just taking away freedoms. Is the resub Versosa and Nate in the bits Wizard, Arrow, and Swavy? Yeah, I still have it up, Wizard. I didn't watch it today yet. I'll watch it later, though. But it's not something I'm watching on stream. These are some Seabaz. I don't see a whole lot of YouTube shorts, but I'll take your word for it, Swaby. Headed to the dark web with this one. I am hopeful it won't pass. And if it does pass, I'm hopeful that there's some kind of wiggle room where the platforms won't need to crack down on freedom of speech. I guess we'll see. I'm just hoping it won't pass. Just like the other 50 tries. But eventually I do feel like one of these is going to make it through. 